How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another So Your Wife Wants You To. Today we've got some scratched up glass because of, well let me show you. This little thing right here. You are 0 .489. 0 .7 I don't know what Alexa's is doing right now. Yeah, she told me I'm in St. Louis. Yeah, that's where I live. So, Anyway, um, we have some scratched up glass and I bought this stuff. I don't even know if it's any good yet. We're going to try it out. I also bought a new orbital sander, which I'm going to show you for polishing. So let's go take a look and see what I'm going to use here. This is an orbital sander polisher. It goes about 30, a little over 3,000 RPM, 3,200, I think. Yeah, it's 3,350 RPM at the max. Um, I have... I'm using a 8 inch finishing foam pad, which is already on there. It's basically just Velcro. It's like that. It comes like that with the Velcro, and then you just kind of get the pad separate, put it on there. So it's like a, just a really fine foam. So we're going to try that out. All right, I am trying hard to show the scratches on the glass. It wants to go through the glass and focus on other things. So I have a bag here, but. You can kind of see, you should be able to see all the scratches on the glass. And that is what we're trying to get rid of. Yeah, there you go. You can kind of see it now. So I made a circle. I don't know if you can see the dry erase circle. It's like a purple color. We're going to try to get the stuff inside of that circle. All the, just kind of um, compare what's inside the circle to outside. I'm just going to do this circle. Uh, scratches and then we can see if there's any improvement. So stay with me and uh, I'm gonna get to work here So this stuff says it's designed to take water spots off, but people on the internet have said that it actually um, Can take really fine scratches out. So we're gonna try and the I'm testing it on this door but really the main um, scratches that I have are on my wife's windshield because somebody, I'm not going to mention Steve-O's name, uh, used a scouring pad and we scratched up the windshield. So we're going to test it out on this door, make sure it doesn't make things worse, and uh, we'll go from there. Okay, it looks like calamine lotion over that stuff whenever you got poison ivy. So we're just going to smear it on, try to make it kind of even. Don't want to use too much, but we actually do want to use some here. Oops. All right, let's see what it'll do. That's about what I'm going to use. I don't know if it's too much or too little, but it seems right. I'll start it, and then we'll pause the video so you don't have to watch for five minutes while I do this. So I'm going to keep going for a few minutes and then we'll get back right back. We'll see if it did any work, anything. Okay, we are outside now. I don't know if you can see very well, but I can tell you it didn't really look like it did much. Now one thing they do say is that you could try toothpaste. And we happen to have toothpaste. So we are going to try that just to see if it works. I know it's hard to focus on scratch glass right now but take it from me it didn't really seem to make any difference okay we're going to go through the same process this time we're using and the camera doesn't want to focus on that either we're using advanced white <laughs> um, it's got baking soda in it so I think it uh, supposedly worked pretty well I don't know, you can't see. 
There it is. That's what we're going to use next. Check it out. So if the wife says, why does our deck smell minty fresh? Well, we don't know, honey. <laughs> okay, I'm not going to bother um, taking the pot pad off and taking this, like cleaning it or anything. We're just going to put this on. And we're going to do the same process. I'm just going to spin it around and then I'll unpause the video and give you a kind of a uh, my take on if it worked or not. That's what it's looking like here. That's the toothpaste. All right, we'll be back in just a few minutes. All right, so first impressions with toothpaste. I don't really know if it's making a difference yet, but take a look at how it's, this is like, it's a lot more difficult to use. So it's like, it's basically a full body workout. Check it out just for the next minute or so. Watch how crazy it is. So try doing that for a minute, it's tough. So anyway, you know there's a lot more friction so it might be working. I'm going to um, do it for like another 30 seconds and then wipe it clean and we'll be back with you. And we are back and actually guys, I, uh, I don't think it really did much. So this is gonna be a fail. I'll put fail in the title because I don't want you to get too um, excited about a really cool glass cleaning or de-scratching process um, trying to focus on the actual scratches but I can tell you that it really did not seem to do any different um, it's all the surface scratches are still there I wish I could focus better but um, you could just I guess trust me that didn't seem to work after probably four minutes of polishing with two different uh, materials. Yeah, you can kind of see the scratches. They're, they're blurred out a little bit. but um, So that's all, guys. I won't belabor this anymore, but um, we're going to try it again. I'll make another video of the windshield, and maybe the well, scratches are far, like, um, far less visible, so it might actually work on the windshield. We'll, we're going to try. Till then, that's all. Get back to work.